Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and thank you so much for joining me here for another episode. Today I'm gonna to give you a general reading to help you deal with the energies that are gonna be occurring on May 10th or 11th, depending on where you are in the world, which we have a full moon in Scorpio. Now Scorpio is a very interesting sign and Scorpio has a bit of a tail that can sting you um, and hold grudges. So we need to be making sure that we are doing our self-love practices, we are staying in vibrational alignment so we can deal better with whatever is going to come up during this time. Now today it's just a general reading, so whatever our star sign you are, this is going to help give you some guidance. Now if you're new to my readings, I'm going to be using um, an oracle deck, a tarot deck and a numerology deck and I'll show you them on screen as we go on. So whatever card I pull up, regardless of what I'm saying, whatever comes to the forefront in your mind, that is going to give you clarity about what this reading is about for you. Use your own intuition and guidance with this reading and maybe if you're a little bit stuck then just go with the flow of whatever comes up. So the first deck that we are going to be using is my favorite deck, which is the Angel Oracle deck from Doreen Virtue. So I started shuffling these before, um, well, the numerology deck in particular, and cards were literally flying out. Like, you know, normally if you've been watching my readings for a while, I have maybe one card that drops onto the floor that's a bit stubborn. The energy is completely different, I noticed today. Anyway, let's just shuffle these. And Universe, can, no, just hold on, please. I haven't finished talking yet. We just need some guidance for our beautiful MK Love fam for guidance to deal with the full moon on May 10th in Scorpio. Just one card, please, angels. Oh, okay. That one, the front card. Life purpose. This is a beautiful card. The purpose of life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus on serving a purpose and then your purpose will serve you. That's so beautiful. Let me just look at those. It's like you have the man that's like full of wisdom in the middle and then you've got these four little girls or little angels around going, Master, teach me your wisdom. It's like, girls, you'll figure it out on your own. You don't need to be, you don't need to have all the answers to think that you're, let me just get some clarity on that one. It's like, you don't have to have it all figured out. If something makes you feel good, then just do it. Okay, let's see what this one says. This card comes as a reminder that you don't need to struggle to find your life purpose. Don't worry about how to make good money in a meaningful career. Don't concern yourself with quitting or starting jobs or professions. Instead, focus on the path of your natural desires, talents and passions with the full intent of bringing joy to yourself and others. Your life purpose doesn't need to be defined or pinpointed. It's a process, not a category additional meanings to this card. Give all your worries about money or career to the God and the angels. You're on the right path towards your life's purpose. Focus on one step at a time with respect to your life's purpose and release fears about the future to your angels. What you're doing right now is part of your life's purpose. I think what's really important is that you don't have to have it all figured out. When I first started my channel, I knew that it was like I had to start it and I knew it was going to link to something career wise. I had no idea what it was going to be, but I knew that that was the like the first part. And when you first start making YouTube videos, you don't get paid for a very, very, very long time. And then even when you do start making money, it's nothing. It's like pocket money, you know, and just do things for the sake of love. But be smart about it and don't put all your eggs in one basket. I can highly recommend that if you're on the entrepreneurial journey, read, read Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. 
She is amazing. She's all about do not quit your day job. Like that is the most silliest thing you could possibly do. And I learned that lesson the hard way. Okay, now we're gonna move on to our numerology deck to get some guidance on life purpose for our beautiful MK love fan. All right, angels, some clarity on life purpose. How exciting. This, oh, I'm second guessing myself today. Oh, okay, right, that's the one. Ooh, a love partnership. 26, six, seven, eight, numerology of eight is infinite, infinity, infinite wisdom. But love partnership could necessarily be with you or somebody else. Because love, you, yeah. This is an interesting reading today. It's totally thrown me off. It's very different to what we normally have. And I assume that's probably why when I shuffled the cards today, it was just, ah. Okay, you ready? <laughs> this card indicates a time when a romantic relationship is about to enter your life. Perhaps you are single or about to meet a someone special. Or maybe your current relationship is about to progress to a deeper level of understanding and commitment. Either way, love is just around the corner, provided you believe. That's a Law of Attraction series, just came into that one. In the meantime, you're being encouraged to focus on what you have to offer rather than what you'd like to receive. By doing so, you will attract a mutually loving relationship that serves both parties needed. Remember, you must believe that love exists in order to attract it into your life. So work on any limiting beliefs or negative thoughts you have about love. In order to improve your current situation, you are being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of life. Cycles that are leading you towards a romantic love relationship. So, love and appreciate yourself as you are today. Embrace your imperfections and be assured that you are worthy of love. Your love will appear when you know without a doubt that you are lovable and deserving. Your affirmation is, I don't know how, I don't know when, but love is on the way. That totally links into the law of attraction. I'm still saying that this is like your life's purpose is a labor of love for you. It could be both depending on where you're at. I think I need another angel card for clarity. Please, angels. Love partnership, that's never came. I've never even seen that card before. Oh, no, that one? Good Lord, wedding? <laughs> now this could mean you're either going to a wedding to meet somebody or, you know, your relationship is gonna hit the next level. What the heck is happening? Love, love is in the air. Da -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da. Marriage is the union of two souls joined in love, mutual respect and commitment. It signifies a desire to deepen love over time. Your wedding day is a testament to your well-founded faith in love's power. Continually breathe life into that faith and love, dearest one. What is happening today? Oh, I'm single ladies, oh, I'm single ladies. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da um, where's my, oh, there it is. What is happening? This is so exciting. So it's not about work. I think it's about work. Then why did the life purpose card come up? I think it's linked, it can be linked to so many things. It just really, oh my God, just, just depends where you are on your journey. You received this card aka the marriage card, because the topic of marriage is related to your question. There is either a wedding in your near future, or the angels are suggesting a renewal of vows to keep romance alive in your present marriage. This card is surrounded with love and positive energy, so there's no need to worry about its message. Be open to love, romance, and possibilities, and enjoy your wedding day. Who's getting hitched? Oh my God. Additional meanings, you'll receive a romantic or a business proposal soon. Ah, that's where the life purpose card goes into it. You're experiencing a mystical marriage between your inner female and male energies. Oh, this is additional meanings. I don't know if I made that clear. 
You'll meet someone significant at a wedding you attend as a guest. Discuss the topic of marriage with your boyfriend or girlfriend. You'll soon meet your future mar marital partner or one of your friends or family members will marry soon. Well, there are two weddings that I have been invited to. One is in Ireland and the other one is in Australia, both a day apart. But I, I think this is beautiful. It's like whatever is happening in your life. Oh, I just looked at the clock and it said 11. Oh, one, 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 one. So we are talking about the right thing. Holy moly. And then I just looked at the computer and it says 12, 22 PM. Two, 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 the numerology of two. So I'm, so we're on the right path. So the universe has just confirmed that I'm not just pulling these weird cards out. So what the heck today we started with life purpose. I think our life purpose is to love who we are, is, to, is, is love. When we're doing, oh, okay, now I just got it. It just all clicked. So when we are vibrating on the frequency of love, we are drawn to beautiful opportunities, experiences, relationships. Your life purpose is to find love. Someone said to me the other day, what would you want to do in five years? What, where do you see yourself in five years? And I said, I, w I still want to be in vibrational alignment with my true authentic self. I want to be vibrating on the frequency of love. And whatever that may be, whatever that may look like, sound like, feel like, you know, smell like, that is a beautiful place to be. That love partnership can look like many different things. However that comes for you, there's a lot of love around. <laughs> we have a wedding garden. She has like the greenery around her, which is linked to the heart chakra and the card is green, but then also she's got the purple, which links to your intuition. Okay. I don't want another tarot. I think I want an another numerology card this is exciting i've never done a reading like this for you guys okay um angels can we have some clarity on life purpose love partnership and wedding because there is love oh i just heard that song um all you need is love ba, 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 ba. all you need is love love da, 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 ba, ba. okay can we have some guidance, angels? Because there is uh, so much love. I just got tingles. Oh, you want this card? Okay. Rebirth. <sighs> Goosebumps on my whole body. On my whole body. I, I, I always knew that, um, well, over the last year, I knew that I was clairaudient, which means that I can hear like angels giving me messages. And now I'm clairsentient because I can, my body a couple of readings ago just went boiling hot. Like I just had hot flesh. And then just then I pulled that card and I got goosebumps. So this is so exciting. What the hell? 16, so that's the numerology of seven. I don't know what that means. Okay, let's just, what is happening guys and girls? <laughs> This card indicates a time of major trans transition and transformation and result in significant personal growth. By during this card, you have entered a period of spiritual awakening and rebirth. Whether you have the opportunity to align with your higher self and the overachieving of principles that guide you. This is where you surrender to the changes around you and prepare to, to be the best you can be. This is so... This is, ah, I feel really good now. You are being encouraged to trust and believe that the magical future awaits. But first, you need to let go of the old in order to experience the new. Watch my video, how to release emotional and physical blockages, especially if it's linked to like a romantic situation. I'll talk you through it. Watch that video. I'll link it on the end card. Take time to reevaluate your core values and re-examine your life. Then eliminate any superficial foundations that don't align with your higher self and your dreams. This is a time to recognize and rise above any ego-based thoughts and behaviors for humility and authenticity are your keys to success. I just saw a whole bunch of keys, gold keys in a circular, a big circular, so there's a lot of keys. Okay, like to a castle, like olden day keys. Whew. 
This is a time to reckon to. Oh, I've already read that. In order to improve your current situation, you are being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythms and cycles of life. Cycles that are leading you towards a high level of understanding and awareness. This transformation is inevitable. So know that this is a very exciting time for you are about to become the best you can be. Oh, now I feel like emotional, like. You've done the work for such a long time and it's like the universe is like, here's your reward. Or maybe you've just fallen in love with yourself and you're like, I am where I am and it's okay. I love who I am and I'm amazing. I'm incredible because you've been doing your rampage of appreciation every morning. You've done your, your morning mindset. You just, you've made yourself a priority, I feel. I feel like you've, you've done the work for so long and now you're, oh my God, goosebumps again. You're attracting like this, this beautiful new opportunity or experience or relationship and it's coming to you at the perfect time because you've done the work and you are ready. What the hell? Your affirmation is, oh gosh, through personal transformation, I reach my greatest potential. And as I've said so many times before, the most rewarding gift possible is the gift of inner work and finding true love, not true love, finding self-love. Like the journey to self-love starts within and that's why you can't get a magical pill to be like, hey, I love myself now, woo -hoo! Like it doesn't work like that. It takes like, I have been working on myself for like three and a half, four years, like consistently or consciously, that's probably the right way. And this, it's time. It's, I just heard something, what was that? I lost it. Let's just get one tarot, just one. Okay, <laughs> I couldn't hear it then, it just went, it was in really, really quick. Okay, so we've got life purpose, love, partnership, wedding, and rebirth. Angels, can we have one tarot card to sum up this whole entire reading for our beautiful MK Love fam for the new moon or full moon? What is it? Full moon that is occurring in Scorpio on May 10th or 11th, depending on where my MK Love are in the world. But if you're in America, it's the 10th. Okay, one card to clarify this beautiful love fest. <laughs> oh my God. Take your time and find the perfect card, okay? the perfect card for the MK Love Fam. This card? Okay. Shit. <gasps> Awakening. Archangel Gabriel. Oh my God. It's a major arcana card. Look at things from a different perspective. A temporary standstill, it's important to be yourself. Ah, because you're like floating upside down. It's like, it's okay. Okay, can we have clarity on that one? Oh, what the heck does that mean? I've never pulled that card. Awakening. Who has that song, Awakening? Dead Letter Circus? Is it their song? I don't know, let's have a look. What number is it? 12, numerology of three. Three is the infinity. No, no, not the infinity, it's like the trinity. Divine Guidance, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, or Body, Mind, Soul Connection. Okay. <laughs> it's time to review your plans. Okay. According to this card and look at things at a, from a new perspective, ask yourself, is it possible that a different approach would work better? Although it may feel that the events have come to a standstill, it, this is temporary. So make use of extra time you've been given to rethink your strategies. You may need to step outside of the norm and the mainstream right now and embrace your own unique eccentric beliefs and attitudes. It's also a good moment to be generous with your time, attention and gifts. The tithering is returned by the universe many fold to you. Now it says additional meanings, epiphanies, selflessness, unexpected life changes. Uh-huh. The need for patience, the power that lies in being oneself, unusual situations. Archangel Gabriel is the angel who helps people become divine messengers of love. Jeez Louise, that's how the love figures fits in. When you speak, think, 
and act from a place of love, you are irresistibly, others, sorry, are irresistibly drawn to you. Okay, well, that's just easy to sum up because she's just basically saying is when you're in vibrational alignment, you have followed my law of attraction series. You have in particular focused on my self love video, which is the feature video on my channel. As soon as you click on it on a desktop, it will start playing for you. you, when you vibrate on the frequency of love, that's when, so this kind of was like the anchor for the whole reading. It was like, when you are vibrating on the frequency of love, your life purpose will become clear. This love partnership is going to make its way into you. Romance or a business um, opportunity is coming and the rebirth is going to transform everything that you, everything that you know. Can we just have one more card? I'm looking at the, I'm being told the tarot, but I don't love the tarot as much. Are you sure? Yeah, I keep getting the tarot. Okay, just one more card, please. Yeah, yeah, like this is honestly the last card. We're already at 21 minutes already, so we have to be quick, okay? Just one last card for our MK Love fan. That one. What? Life experience. What? That's another major arcana. That's a seven. What does that mean? A significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings, my love. Okay, we'll quickly read that and then we'll finish. God, this is getting good. Two major arcana cards. Like, it's just like, you're, you are at the right headspace. You understand what it takes to manifest your heart's true desires. You understand the significance of being a vibrational alignment and practicing self-love daily. And you know that when you fall off the wagon, what you need to do to make yourself better because you don't just sit there and feel sorry for yourself and spend weeks and weeks on the couch because you know, I've got to get in, into the sunshine and get some vitamin D to help pump my lymphatic system and just make me just feel amazing and breathe a life force into my lungs and uh, just take your shoes off and walk outside. <laughs> okay, you drew this card because a recent event has been a wake up call for you to make some life changes. You may be at a new revelation. Did we say revelation? Oh no, we said rebirth. Um, or something you've known about, you've been procrastinating about. Ooh, you've now realized that this situation can't be ignored and action is necessary. This is the moment of both freedom and awakening. Okay. Um, the way you see yourself in the world has forever changed bringing you growth and encouraging you to spread your wings. Allow these new insights to motivate you to embrace the path of your heart's true desires and your intuition. Liberation, oh, these are the additional meanings. Suddenly seeing the truth, rapid inevitable change, time running out. Okay, Archangel Camiel can help you find whatever you're seeking, including right relationships, and a divinely guided career. Call upon Camille and then follow your intuition, which is a way to ask, it, which is the way this angel speaks to you. So you just have to ask. If you're having trouble with your intuition, check out my guided meditation series, in particular, um, the third eye chakra, which is linked to intuition. I recently posted that like last week or the week before. Oh my God, let's just quickly sum up this reading. Everything is linked to love. You ready? What comes up for you when you look at these cards? <laughs> I just feel happy for you. You have to do the work. You know, these things are not going to manifest if you're not in the right vibration. That last card is just stunning. It's like you're near a castle, for goodness sake. And you're green, which is the heart chakra color, and you're surrounded by red roses. Oh, and there's a blue butterfly. Blue is a butterfly's spark transformation. This is a beautiful time. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful time. My loves, I'm so excited for this amazing new chapter for you. I hope this has given you some clarity on whatever you've been thinking about and it helps you cope better with these situations because that's 
this is why I started these readings. They make me, like when I do my own readings, they make me feel amazing. Anyway, I'm speaking way too long. We're at 25 minutes, I've got to go. I just wanted to say, have an amazing day. Enjoy this full moon energy in Scorpio that's happening around May 10 or 11, wherever you are in the world. Subscribe so you never miss another episode and check out the videos that are on the end card. They're going to help you on your journey to become your greatest version. I love you. Subscribe, comment below, like this video, share with your friends, and I will see you next episode. I love you so much, my love. Enjoy the love fest. Holy moly. Goodbye.